I'm back with another video and this time around I will do a wrap up or a quick review of all the books I read in the month of February. Now before we get started, I want to share that originally I had planned on doing an individual review for each of the books I read last month. After taking a look at the video I did for Men We Reaped, I realized that that video sucked. <laughs> the reason why the video was so bad wasn't because of the quality of video production, Rather, it was a reflection of my quality of reading, which I would describe as very superficial. I was finished reading Bad Feminist by Roxane Gay. I had to reread the book because I couldn't really remember what the what the heck <laughs> what I was reading. From now on, especially in the month of March, I want to focus on critically reading, so taking a deeper look about what the message of the book is, um, putting the book into a sort of overall context context with relation to other books or other popular culture forms and then um, also just taking a look out for themes etc whatnot. This is a subject I want to explore further probably in another video. If you are already doing critical reading and that's just sort of your thing go ahead and comment down below and leave me some tips or just something that you do um, to make sure that you're always examining a book critically. And you know, you don't always have to be critically reading. Sometimes you just want to read a story and that's totally fine. Um, but for me and my own sort of personal development with respect to books, I would like to explore how to critically read a lot more. So without further ado, here are the books I read in the month of February. So the first book I read is Men We Reaped by the author Jasmine Ward. Men We Reaped is a memoir, so it is an account of the author Jasmine Ward's life. But the way that she frames it is through the lives of five young men that died during her lifetime. Even though on the surface their deaths seem pretty unrelated, she explains throughout the book that their deaths were actually a result of systematic racism and extreme poverty in the South. She also describes what it's like to go to private school and then moving on to Stanford and then graduate school in Michigan, all while her family is still going through the everyday struggles of being poor and black in the South. Overall, I gave this book four out of five stars because it was both educational and beautifully written. Next, I read the book Half of a Yellow Sun by the author Chimamanda Adichie. You've probably already seen her very popular book Americana floating around in booktube land, but I decided to go with Half of a Yellow Sun first and I am very glad that I did because I was completely blown away by how good this book was. For the most part, the book is centered around these two wealthy Nigerian twin sisters who have both had the privilege of studying abroad in England. One of the sisters, Olana, is just super pretty and can have her take of any man, both poor or rich, but she's fallen in love with this revolutionary professor named Odenigbo. Hyneen, on the other hand, is not pretty at all, um, and she does not get the same amount of attention that Alana gets, but she is very clever and a great businesswoman, and she's caught the interest of this Englishman named Richard. The story follows the four of them, plus Odenigbo's houseboy Ubu, which is all fine and dandy until civil war completely erupts in Nigeria. And so you're reading about this family drama, but then you're also reading about how the civil war completely destroys the lives of everyone around them. This book ended up being one of the best books I've ever read in my life, so it was no problem giving it five out of five stars. Last I read Bad Feminist by the author Roxane Gay. Before I picked this book up, I actually had no idea what it was going to be about. I saw it floating around in booktube land and picked it up at Barnes & Noble. I figured because of the title that it was going to be a bit more scholarly, like Judith Butler or Bell Hooks, but I was pleasantly surprised to find that it was part memoir and a series of essays critiquing pop culture through the lens of feminism, specifically intersectional feminism, which deals with class, 
sexuality, and race. I thought that this book was very clever, very thought-provoking. It even inspired me to pick up a pen and write my own words. I definitely think that this is a book that everyone should read, and I went ahead and gave it four stars on Goodreads. That's it, everyone. Those were the books I read in February, which is also Black History Month in the United States. That's all I have for you today, so until next time, happy reading! because I saw her picture and she looked so badass and so punk and I was like this girl probably knows how to write science fiction. So I went ahead and got it on Amazon. It came in the mail today and I am so excited. I